All right, welcome back. So today, just showing off, I guess showing off isn't a really great word, but showing that I picked up a cheap tool post, just whatever was a good deal on eBay. And I've got a T-nut machine, so I don't own a mill right now. So we're going to just cut over to a little bit of uh, video at my work where I can use one of our milling machines there to get some of that done.
All right, now with that out of the way, we have the finished T-nut here. And actually, I did forget to leave some of, to chamfer some of these edges. So I think I'll just take some, uh, take a file and clean up some of this just to break the burr off in areas where I couldn't get I did get most of the edges with just the belt sander. And that worked really well for cutting some of these larger chamfers where I, uh, it's hard to see it. I've got some of these chamfers along these larger edges just with the belt sander, but of course couldn't really fit into the smaller edges here, so inside corners yeah I really hope that it uh, fits well enough on this I did some dry fit tests with it but I can't I uh, couldn't really get all the dimensions off of that because I don't really have some of the tools to get some of the insides. Sorry, that doesn't make very much sense. So the T slot on there has, I could measure the edges of the T slot, like out near the ends here. And I got some good measurements there, but after I did a little bit of checking, it seems that it was tighter towards the center than towards the edges. And I don't really have a tool that could get down in there like a telescoping telescopic gauge or anything like that so I did cut it a little bit undersized and the dry fitting seems to work just all right and that puts us a few thousands below the surface here actually feeling that we're probably maybe 30 thou under Let's get a little bit better view over here. So at the tool post, should be able to just get this on here. And I also made sure that this is high enough up that the thread here can never screw down far enough into the nut to push up against the bottom of the slot because I want to prevent it from having an issue, uh, having the sort of scenario where it 
kind of pushes up against the sides of the T here and breaks out the slot. See, that's as close as it can get in really to that. And that can still move down a little bit, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, so in there you can see that can still slide down quite a bit. So that'll, that'll never come yeah, go down far enough to cause an issue there. <clears throat> so, let's get this on here. And I know this is getting a bit ahead. I just, uh, I haven't really had much time to lately to work on this. And I'm not anywhere near making chips on this machine. But I figure I start getting tooling ready and set up and have some of the things good to go so that when I can cut chips, I just go straight at it instead of having to wait a week for parts or anything. Self a wrench here. Get that a little tight on there, but yeah, that should be good. If we look here, we can see there's a little bit of a gap, not much. I guess I'll end up with chips underneath the T nut, but uh, uh, something's got to happen like that with how small the T-nut they provide is. I guess if it's a really an issue, uh, in the future I can find a piece of uh, steel plate or something that will actually be able to fill the whole slot, machine out another T-nut. But like right now I don't actually have any taps that would be able to cut this thread. And I didn't wanna have to make a whole new T-nut from scrap when they send this one. And I don't know if I'll be using so much of the capacity of this lathe that I'm really going to need something that's sturdier than this. But alright, that's uh, not much of a video this time, but uh, thanks for watching anyway, and hopefully see you on the next video.